What is going on, y'all? The dating scene now is very hedonistic. And what does hedonistic mean? It pretty much means everything is driven, is pleasure driven, right? Everything is about pleasure, uh, short term, instant gratification. And it's reverting back to this, okay? This is not a new phenomena. You guys heard the saying, there's nothing new under the sun. And this is exactly one of these cases. This is nothing new. We've seen this in ancient Greece and all of that, you know, decadence. That's another word, decadence, overindulging in pleasure, okay? And quick thing, real quick, this is not an argument piece. This is not some kind of debate of the morality of it, okay? This is not a morality piece. I'm just telling you guys what it is. Sort of like on some kind of philosophical, you know, some kind of ghetto-ass bootleg philosophical level, right? You can call me Eris. Aristotle or Plato in this whole, you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I'm gonna get deep into it. First of all, this is Tarek Talks. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me, and I sure do humbly appreciate y'all. So, it is very hedonistic, guys. This is something that y'all need to be mindful of. See, a lot of guys, uh, they get on here and they're like, yes, the traditional household and stuff like that. They were talking about when things were traditional, yes. Once again, this is not a debate piece talking about the morality. This is not a discussion of morality. It is a discussion of the way things are, okay? But throughout, you know, we had the period of nuclear family, traditional, you know, all through the 18, uh, 1700s, 1800s and shit, especially through up, up until like the 50s, up until the 60s when that whole liberation movement came in, then it reverted back to hedonism. It reverted back to the pleasure, right? The 60s is is when prawn really blew, blew up, right? Adult flicks is when drug use really blew up the whole hippie movement, right? And we're still living through the hedonistic times. So that's kind of like a rough general timeline. I'm not giving you an exact timeline. It's a rough timeline of hedonism, okay? And don't get it twisted. People have always indulged in decadence. People have always been hedonistic, no matter what time or, or what era, right? But in societal terms, in main, mainstream societal terms, now hedonism is, is the main thing, right? Everything is very pleasure-driven. Dating is no different, okay? Dating nowadays is very hedonistic. It's very cardinal, meaning... And you can feel whatever way you want about this. I'm just telling you how it is. Everything is pleasure driven. That's why we have a lot of these one night stands. That's why we have a lot of this, the, the hookup culture. We are in the hookup culture full and effect. Okay. The traditional nuclear family and stuff like that. Of course, that's still there. But the hookup culture is taking precedence. And you guys need to be cognizant of this while you are going in. Not telling you that you should change anything about yourself to fit in if that's not you, okay? But everything is very pleasure-driven. Everything is very looks-driven to a certain extent, to a certain extent. And, you know, people are out here going to uh, outside, going to clubs, doing all these one-night stands, hookups. This is the atmosphere that we are living in. And for you guys that's looking for something traditional, look, that, that is a completely hard task. It is a completely hard task nowadays. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm living in some kind of parallel universe. If you live in a Western society, getting a traditional household, it is not impossible. I am not doom and gloom with it, but it is very difficult. Okay, we the, like the age we live in is very instant gratification. We need attention, right? Attention from every which way. And what is attention in itself? Let me describe to you what attention is in itself. Attention when within itself, basically put as a validation of your sexuality. That is it. It is validation of how s s u l e. I'm gonna say that word. Even though I just said the word, I can't say it too much. How essentially validated you are. That is the, uh, bro, that is the main reason why females get on and want that validation and stuff. It lets them know they are essentially validated. And with this attention subconsciously, it is going to be way more hedonistic, right? So now in, 
not only is it on the internet uh, promoting this, now in the real world is being promoted, right? We hear all these songs, every every movie, every song has to have a whole bunch of innuendos in it, right? Promoting uh, one night stands, promoting hookups. You know, we're not we're not blind or deaf here, right? Uh, unless unless you are, which I'm not even being funny. You know, much much love to you, okay? If 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 you have some kind of disability, okay? But like I said though, you know, we're not we're not oblivious to the world, and this is what the world is. It is the mating scene is very very primal it is very it, it's all about the five senses it's really not about being loyal anymore it's not really about a nuclear because don't get it twisted having a, a relationship is not always gonna entail s sexuality and intimacy and all that good stuff it's an actual job a real live relationship a real live whatever you want to call it it is another job it's not always going to be this pleasureful instant gratification type of ordeal. And at some, and, and people back in the day, they kind of knew this. They kind of knew, hey, look, and a lot of these channels, you know, these fucking these damn red pill channels, they're like, oh, marriages are transactional and stuff. At some point, bro, all that super lubby dubby and super intimate stuff, it is going to fade away. This is just human nature. But see, the difference nowadays is people back in the day, they had a little more control over their urges, <clears throat> right? Notice I said a little more because infidelity and people stepping out on each other, that's been going on since the beginning of time, okay? But it was a little more, a tad, notice I said a tad bit more regulated. Now you get on a date, you know, something something don't go right or, or one thing that the other person doesn't like, they scrap you for another person and then the next day they hook up with somebody else. This is how it goes nowadays, right? This is how the dating scene goes. It's a very quick, instant gratification. Once you smash somebody, once you pound somebody, you're looking for the next fix, right? You're looking for the next, and <laughs> people nowadays don't even care. Like a lot of, and once again, this is not a moral type of debate. This is not, I'm not saying this in any kind of question of, is it moral or not? Okay, that's a separate topic, separate video. But people nowadays don't even care about what what gender you are. It's it's like a free for all. Okay, it's a free for all, and we've seen this kind of shit in ancient Greece. Ancient Greece was exactly like this, guys. You guys think this stuff is new? They found little sculptures in ancient Greece. I think it was a uh, Pompeii before before the volcano destroyed that little town. Don't quote me on this, but it was a, a place in Greece and they found little paintings and, and little sculptures of people getting freaky, getting getting down with it, right? Of, of group activities, if you know what I mean. And this was way, way back before we were even thought of in, in, in any kind of way, right? Way before any of this society came about. And this was going on, right? So this is nothing new. This ain't nothing new. It ain't nothing new under the sun. Don't mind, don't mind that motherfucker in the back, dog. He could have parked anywhere else, but he parked right next to me, right? But this is something that is not new. Like I said, though, it goes in cycles. The world is cyclical. You know what that phrase means? Cyclical means it goes in cycles. And the, the cycle that we in now is the hedonistic period. Yes, we're back to the hedonistic period. We've read what, you know, and, and people think this is new, but like I said, you really th sit down and think about it. None of this stuff is new. None of the same, same gender stuff going on is new. None of this group activity stuff is new. None of this hooking up one night stands and stuff is true. It's just that in the past dec uh century, 100 years, it shifted back to hedonism. Okay, it shifted back to hedonism. We're gonna have a couple more decades, you know, a century or, two, or a century and, and some change where it's gonna be hedonistic, right? Where it's just all gonna be all hedonistic. Like I said, a free for all. Everything is instant gratification. Everything is pleasure based. And then at some point, it's gonna stop again and it's gonna revert back to a more conservative, as uh, if if you will, a more traditional with the nuclear family, right? Not saying that people still don't have nuclear families, but I'm just saying it's it's not the not the mainstream, 
Now you can take that for whatever it is, not going on any which one side. I'm just telling you this in a philosophical type of way, okay? But now the whole nuclear family, the whole traditional roles, that's out the window. But trust and believe the world goes in cycles. So like I said, it's gonna be another couple of decades. It's gonna be a, a century, a, a hundred years until it go back to the more nuclear family, the more traditional role type of stuff. Okay. And read up on your history, dog. Read up on your history. See how these ancient civilizations, they was, they was getting, especially the ancient Greeks, especially the Greeks. You know what I'm saying? They was getting busy. They was getting down. They was having group parties and, and all of that good stuff. So a lot of guys might think this stuff is new, right? Like, oh, the traditional family is no more and stuff. Bro, this shit kind of, it's kind of been there. We just, we just don't read into history. Okay. We just don't really read into history. So anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys like my little philosophical powwow. Let me know what you thought. Peace.